welcome students welcome to my next video standard 7th history religious synthesis as we all know our india has a diverse culture tradition religion and language that is the important characteristics of indian society considering the feature of indian constitution uh has adopted the principle of secularism in the medieval india too there were reforms in religion in social life based on certain principles efforts have been made through bhakti movement sikhism and sufi movement now my dear students we are going to learn today in this topic that how this bhakti movement the sikhism the sufi movement brought changes in the life of the people and how they had a diverse view of devotion towards god this we are going to learn in this lesson now bhakti marg when we say bhakti marg we give undue importance to rituals we give undue importance of certain practices according to the bhakti movement they say rituals are not required for god the only requirement to god is what your bhakti your devotion and that is what the bhakti movement tells the people bhakti movement used the common people's language instead of sanskrit they helped to the development of regional languages now when i speak more about bhakti movement i speak about the nayanar and alwar the bhakti movement which emerged in south india now when i say nayanar they were the devotees of shiva lord shiva and alwars were the devotees of lord vishnu they also made an attempt to consider shiva vishnu as one and the same and they bring them together harior idols depicts half vishnu and half shiva which were produced in the spirit on a larger scale people belonging to social strata participated in the bhakti movement they preached the value of love of god humanity compassion mercy i would like to mention about ramanujana ramajuna ramanujana the other acharya strengthened the base of the bhakti movement in south india they told people that god is for all god does not discriminate the teaching of ramanujana was the great impact in north india sant ramanand strengthened the bhakti movement in the north india sant kabir is well known for uh, in the bhakti movement he did not attach any importance to pilgrimage vartas or idol worship for him truth was god he thought that all human human beings are equal he did not believe in any differences based on caste creed sect and religion he wanted to bring hindu muslim unity he criticized orthodox people in both hindus and muslim religion in strong terms now there were other uh saints in bengal chaitanya mahaprabhu he was the staunch believer of lord krishna due to his teaching lot of people joined the bhakti movement then shankara deva spread the bhakti movement in assam narsimha he was belonging to the 
Vaishnava saint in Gujarat. He was an ardent believer of Lord Krishna. He gave message of equality. He is also known as the first poet of Gujarati language. Sant Mirabai or Saint Mirabai stressed the importance of bhakti movement, especially for he, she was the strong devotee of Lord Krishna. She belonged to royal family of Mewad. She re renounced all the pleasures of the royal family and she immersed herself in the devotion of Lord Krishna. She composed devotional verses in Rajasthan, Rajasthani and Gujarati. Her devotional verses give the message of devotion, tolerance and humanity. Sant Sena, a influential saint, Sant Rohidas, was a great saint. He gave the message of equality and humanity. Surdas, a great poet of Hindi literature, composed poetical work. Sursagar, devotion to Krishna, is the subject of his work. The verses of Krishna Bhakti composed by Muslim uh, saint Ras uh, Khan are melodious. Ram Chitramanas of Sant Tulsidas is beautiful composition expressing devotion to Rama. In Karnataka, my dear students, Mahatma Basaveshwara spread the lingered string of thoughts. He opposed the caste system and is stressed on the dignity of labor. His well-known saying, work is worship. Work is worship. He encouraged women's participation in the movement. Men and women belonging to all the caste begin to participate in the religious discussion conducted in the hall of Anubhava Mana Tapa. Mahatma Bashweswara conveyed his teaching in the language of the people. Kannada, through the medium of Vachana literature, his work had a great impact on society. His followers had composed their work in Marathi also. And this composition uh, by Manmat Swami is very well known. Great saints in the Karnataka included Pump, Purandar Das and others. They composed many devotional verses in Kannada. My dear students, we will see Mahanubhav Pant. In 13th century, Chandrakar Swami founded Mahanubhav Pant in Maharashtra. This sect preaches devotion to Krishna. Sri Govind Prabhu was a guru of Guru of Chakradhar Swami. The follower of Chakradhar Swami included both men and women belonging to various castes and creed. He supported equality. He traveled to all parts of Maharashtra preaching in Marathi. He preferred Marathi instead of Sanskrit. That was the common language of the people. This led to the development of Marathi language. Many works were composed in Marathi. This sect spread in Vidarbha, Marathwada of Maharashtra. Ridipur in Vidarbha is also an important place of, for the people of this sect. This sect had reached far away regions like Punjab and Afghanistan. Students, uh, if thus I come to an end of this first part of my video. Students, if you are a new subscriber, if you are a new viewer, please subscribe it. And if others are not aware of this video channel, please do give awareness by sharing it with others. And I wish you all the best, my dear students, for your exam. May God bless you.